We've got high hopes for this contest with these two fighters. Should be a really good matchup. I'm Todd Grisham, and watching this live with me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. Time for our tale of the tape. The gentleman of boxing, Floyd Patterson, six foot tall, 172 pounds, with a 71 inch reach. And his opponent, Tommy the Duke Morrison. He weighed in at 101.2 kilos, and he'll have a reach of 100. Well, it is go time, ladies and gentlemen, and you can see there is not a seat to be had for this very close matchup. Turn the phone up, close the door, close the curtains. This is it. Leave me alone. Let me enjoy myself right now. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. He just misses with that jab. Just when you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. These power punches are bruising up his body. This has been a very competitive round between these two. has a real good flow to it. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. With sluggers, you cannot let them get into a rhythm because this is how they train. This is how they prepare for a fight. This is what they'll do all night. Do not dance their dance. You've got to use speed. This round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? You can't leave it up to the judges, it's up to you. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? Good counter punching from both these fighters. Still swinging with nothing left. Got to find a way to get around that reach advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. Some real good back and forth between these two fighters. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? here from both men. Both men step back for just a moment. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. He 
he is down big time on the score. He's absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? Here's the bell to start round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's being hurt. He's going to come up and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him up. Be smart because he's going to try and put you on the pressure. He knows your legs are done. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Heavyweight fights don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. We've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're gonna have excitement, you're gonna have drums because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are gonna run. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Have to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments. Didn't land. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch. They want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. <sighs> you know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up. Here's the bell for round four. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come up now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Don't miss with that jab. realizes that defense is one of the scoring criteria in boxing. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. It has been a back and forth contest so far, no doubt about it. He gets out of the way of that left hand. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. 
That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots, get out of the way and they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Then step back for just a moment. He misses with that jab. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. I've seen some fighters with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the dangerous part. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Looks absolutely exhausted. What are you going to tell him in the corner? This is the beginning of round six. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. Gets out of the way of that left hand. And he fails to score with that left hook. This fighter has tested their opponent's power and apparently isn't impressed as they continue to walk through all these power shots. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. They better start respecting each other's punching power. Defense here at all. Good punch. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Round to go either way, 10 seconds to go. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute. Here comes round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off.
fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. This can be so frustrating when you're in the such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one of them. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. Get out of the way of that left hand. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. Both men step back for just a moment. And he misses with that jab. Neither one of them wants this to go to the judges' scorecard. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Dominance, without a doubt, make look so, so easy. Round eight, and we're off again. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. That one will count. Been showing exceptional chins, by the way. He's willing to go where the other fighter won't. Either man really defending himself. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here.
There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go, and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. It's so demoralizing, it absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Then step back for just a moment. Both fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. It's got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain back. You'd like to see more jabs. round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. And there's the bell for round 10. After that last round, something has got to change. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Exchange here from both men. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons. And that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments. He misses with that jab. When someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Not many of the people in the division hit it like them. Close round with 10 seconds to go. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, bro, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Let's start 11. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? 
It's the one who draws first blood type. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. And he just missed with that left jab. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Those who thought this would be a mismatch, you are sorely wrong. This stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in the front. They've got to relax. Nice exchange here from both men. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. Go out there and finish it. He's ready. On to the 12th. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. Both men step back for just a moment. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. this fighter to show some defensive ability. A very competitive round here so far. Neither man really defending themselves. Jab misses. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Go back to the drawing board time, a unanimous decision victory. Unanimous? You know what? Smart, smart that is. A total change of styles to make sure they got it. Add every round in the bag, there was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious.